to be honest i'm beautiful here and i'm beautiful here hi beautiful people oh my gosh thank you guys for coming again to watch my video if this is your first time please don't forget to visit the subscribe button and make sure you pick up a subscription so you can get access to this confusion <laughs> so you guys as you can see this yin yang behavior in my face this video is about the power of makeup so recently uh, my skin finish hyperpigmentation foundation routine has been getting a lot of people to comment and give their opinions many of them are oh my gosh so freaking sweet many of them make me feel like i'm actually i actually have a purpose for living while some of them make me feel like i should go and die or i'm so hideous i don't i don't deserve to live and at the end of the day i just want to thank god for giving me the courage to use this platform to help people who don't have the courage to speak out for themselves there's some people that say how do you feel when you take off your makeup at night and see how ugly you are boo boo i wake up to this every day i like i've seen so much beauty in myself that i don't see the surface anymore i see the inside and i've changed do you know that this my skin condition changed me for the better so if you have anything negative to say about my before and my after please go and tell god that god this girl that i created is not perfect so can you fix her because i believe i am so perfect because i have jesus jesus makes me perfect i am imperfect and through him i am perfect and i'm so happy to be imperfect because my skin condition drove me to christ and i laid all my burden at his feet and now i'm here helping people who don't have that courage to stand for themselves who don't have that opportunity to face people like you someone else said that oh that um, they are going to wake up to my ass in the um what, what they say again though that i'm going to go clubbing and then i'm going to wake up in someone's ass with my ass or some stupid thing like that i'm like really really not oh the, i let me help you research on how to heal your skin so you can be as beautiful as you are on the outside just as you are on the outside no your own is that you want to imagine how someone's going to beat me when i'm coming after the club and they wake up to my face what's your business so you are the these are the people that are promoting me these are the people that will be beating other people these are the people stop bullying people let them fulfill their purpose in christ you don't know that maybe you are bullying this person and they're, that they're supposed to drive to produce something that would help other people it's because of people like you negative people like you that the world is the way it is because most people are so turned down by your opinions by your negative opinions that they cannot fulfill their purpose thereby causing another weak link on the earth somebody commented and said god gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers oh my god no wonder i have muscles no wonder it's no wonder god why do you give me muscles but i've been battling something inside and outside and it made me so much stronger inside and so much stronger outside don't test me oh don't test me don't test me don't don't, don't test me don't, don't test me see my loves the people that had the sweetest comment people that say i motivated them to to stand up people that say i inspired them people that said that you know they are going to share my video because it helps people someone commented that they are going to share my video to cancer patients do you know how do you know how touching that is that i'm helping people i feel so blessed to be using this platform to fulfill god's purpose in my life i left for one year i left youtube for one year because there were so many people that were telling me you can't do it you can't do it it's not for you it's not for you can you imagine the kind of things that people tell you but the truth is that those are tests those are hurdles you have to overcome when anybody is saying something negative tell them something negative which is no if anybody say you cannot do it no i can't i can't do it who are you to tell me i cannot do it did god tell you send you as a message messenger to me with these your red horns on your head how can god send you like i love like you don't understand that i love this my this side of my face this 
one doesn't last the reason why i do makeup so well in my opinion i mean is because i used to paint as a child i grew up painting i would paint canvases and put it in my daddy's room i would draw comics paint every single dress on each girl and boy that i'm drawing do you know that god has been preparing me for this because he knows that through me he can he can reach to reach so many people who have been dragged down by people who don't have regard for other people people who are unhappy with themselves i want to drag other people down so don't tell me anything and that person said I, I should take my transgender ass to my transgender something something i was just like oh wow that's nice right that's an insult transgender is not an insult right people that are living their lives you are using them as insult congratulations you have fulfilled your destiny to be a stupid person congratulations are you kidding me are you kidding me so you think transgender I'm happy those people are so confident with themselves that they are standing out to live in their body. So don't come and tell me what 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 to what 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 like I don't even know what to say. I'm so speechless. Am I dark? Am I dark? I am a blessing, okay? I am a blessing. And I I I know that is my confidence that is threatening you. I know. And that's the same thing that threatens the devil. Come, people that are confident in who they are because they will find God and they will live, fulfill God's purpose. So he's trying to drag them down. You cannot drag me down. Eh, eh, you cannot drag me down. Eh, eh, you drag me down and God lift me up. You cannot drag me down. Don't worry, guys. My single is dropping soon. Wait upon it. <laughs> you guys, I love you so much. But... If you read my comments to people that are hating on me, I don't I don't reply with hate. You never ever reply insults with insults. You never reply because to be honest, you're just stooping down to their level. Because there's this passage that I read yesterday. And do you know what the passage title was? Suffering for doing good. It's actually first Peter 3 from verse 8 to verse 18. So it reads finally all of you be harmonious sympathetic affectionate compassionate and humble do not return evil for evil or insults for insults but instead bless others because you were called to inherit a blessing when you are writing negative things on other people's comments remember that what you do to others will happen to you it's not and the funny thing is that it's not only you your children your children's children you might live life happy insulting people but your children their children their other their children and children after after that you don't want to leave them with such a bitter life because you weren't smart enough to change yours and then it's verse 10 says for the one who wants to love life and see good days must keep his tongue from evil must keep his lips from uttering deceit and he must turn away from evil and do good he must seek peace and pursue it for the eyes of the lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers but the lord's face is against those who do evil for who is going to harm you if you are devoted to what is good? Who are they to tell you are wearing too much makeup? Did they buy the makeup for you? Did they work hard to make the money to buy it for you? Their opinions are invalid. Yet, do it with courtesy and respect, keeping a good conscience so that those who slander you, those who slander your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame when they accuse you for it is better to suffer for doing good if it's God's will than for doing evil because Christ also suffered once for our sins not his sins our own sins the just for the unjust to bring you to God by being put to death in the flesh and by being made alive in the spirit
I know there are so many of you out there trying to help me with my skin, giving me opinions and telling me what you use and what I should use and that touches my heart and warms my heart so much. I just pray that in time when you're looking for something, there will be someone out there, your guardian angel will come. God gave me this severe hyperpigmentation just to show you that there's hope out there. And for those of you that are telling me to embrace my dark skin, oh my God, I love the fact that I'm dark skin. How can I not love it? <laughs>